This will be our last topic under chapter 2, uh, power, power analysis. And this topic is about maximum average power transfer uh, principle or theorem. In, this is an AC circuits now. If you remember, we're in, in these circuits, in circuits 1, uh, we also derive the, the relationship or the condition for the maximum power transfer. And it's maximum when the resistance of the load is the same as the, the equivalent resistance of the source. So here, we will also derive that again. But this time, instead of, resi uh, uh, instead of only resistance, we also talk about the, uh, the reactance of the circuit. So in other words, it's, we talk about the impedance, the equivalent impedance of the uh, source and the, the load. So if we tivonize our, our circuit into, so we have our VTH, then this is our, uh, the impedance of the source, let's call it ZTH, they're looking back, impedance. And uh, if this is the terminal of the that source, we connect our load here. And this is a varying load. We want to determine what is this load, ZL, so that the, the power that is being, being delivered to that load is maximum. So we have our IL, or the current here. So this is a uh, non equivalent circuit. So what do you want to determine is what should be our ZL so that the power is maximum. So let, let, let's uh, first solve for IL. Here, IL is just equal to a VTH, total voltage all over uh, the impedance, the total impedance, which is ZTH plus the load, ZL. But we only care about the, the magnitude of the, the current because remember the power of the load is just equal to the magnitude of the current, IL. You square this and you multiply it with uh, the resistance of the load, RL, because uh, only the resistance consume real power, TL. So we only need to determine this IL here, the magnitude of this one. So what will be the magnitude of IL? We know that VTH, uh, you can just take the magnitude of this, but magnitude of VTH, let's put it here. Then we have, so these are all RMS volumes, the current and the voltage here are RMS volumes, not uh, maximum volumes. So VTH for the ZTH, uh, ZTH is equal to uh, the resistance plus or minus the, the reactance of that uh, circuit. Then this is ZTH plus for the load, we have the resistance of the load plus JX uh, reactance of the load. So to take the magnitude of the numerator, you just take the magnitude. Then for the or the numerator denominator, to take the magnitude, we add the the real components and we add the imaginary components and square them. And you take the square root. So this will be the square root of the real components, which are RTH. We add them with RL. Then you square them. Then plus for the imaginary component, we have X. TH, then we have the reactance of the load. And this will be the magnitude of our current IL. Then we will substitute this into our equation for PL because we want to maximize this. Remember, PL is the power at the, the load, and that's what we want to maximize. So this will be equal to, so we just square this, so VTH squared times RL all over the square root of RTH plus RL squared plus XTH plus XL squared. Now, to maximize this, remember your calculus. 
the optimization problems, maximum minima. We just take the derivative of uh, the, the quantity that we want to, to maximize with respect to the variables that we are varying with respect to that uh, quantity, and you just equate it to zero, then that will be, and solve for the, that, the, the variable, then that will be the condition for the maximum uh, output or quantity. So in this case, but we have two variables here because we are ch uh, changing ZL. And ZL, there are two components for ZL. We have RL and XL. So we have two variables. We are varying RL, we are varying XL. So to, do, to take the derivative, uh, we can divide it into two parts using partial derivative. Then later on, we just need to add them for the total derivative. So first, we take the deri partial derivative of PL with respect to RL by varying RL. So remember, we are taking the derivative with respect to RL, so our, all other uh, uh, XL here will become constant. So if we do that, so this will be the derivative of this, so 2 times the square root of that term here. I uh, will not write it because this will become uh, 0. Then uh, VTH, or this is a, a low the high because we have RL at the numerator. Then, oh, I forgot to remove the square root because this is I squared. I is over squared here. So if you square the VTH, you also need to square the denominator. So the square root here will uh, cancel out because you square that, the, the square and the square root will cancel out. So uh, this will be the uh, final equation for PL. Then if you take the derivative now, so this is uh, a quotient rule. We can apply quotient rule, low the high. So first, the copy the uh, denominator, low. Then multiply it with the derivative of the numerator. So the denominator is RTH plus RL squared plus XTH plus XL squared. And we multiply this with D high. So the derivative of the uh, numerator uh, with respect to RL. Remember, we are taking the derivative with respect to RL. So the derivative of this is just equal to VTH squared. Then minus high the low. So copy the numerator VTH squared times RL. Then you multiply this with the derivative of the denominator. So this term here, derivative of XTH plus XL will become zero. Why? Because they are constant. So we only care about this one. So it will be 2 times RTH plus RL. Then you multiply it with the derivative of RTH plus RL. RTH is constant, so 0. Derivative of RL is 1 with respect to RL. So this will be uh, just the term here. Then uh, so in the denominator, we just square the denominator. Law, law D high over law squared. So law squared, so this will be RTH plus RL squared plus XTH plus XL squared. And this is the partial derivative with respect to RL. Now, well, what's next? We, we need to equate this to zero to maximize our PL. So if we equate that, this will cancel out. It will be equal to zero. Then we can also factor out VTH squared here. So VTH squared. And we can just cancel that VTH because it's common. So I just remove that. If div I divide VTH at both sides, this is zero. We can also remove that. Then we just copy uh, this one. RTH. RTH plus RL squared plus XTH plus XL squared minus, oh, we can distribute this to uh, RL times RTH. Then we have minus 2 
RL uh, squared. And this is equal to 0. Then we can solve, because we are uh, taking the derivative with respect to RL, we can solve for RL here. Then we can distribute this one, distribute this one. So this expand RTH squared plus 2RTH times RL and plus RL squared. Then we can just copy this because we are solving for RL. So just copy this one, XTH plus XL squared and minus 2RL RTH then minus 2RL squared and it's equal to 0. Then... Uh, if we subtract this, we have 2 RTH RL here and 2 RL RTH. So this will cancel out. Then we have RL squared, then minus 2 RL squared. So that will be negative RL squared. Then we transport that into the other side. It will become positive RL squared and will be equal to here. We have RTH, uh, then this one plus XTH plus XL. Squared. And we want to solve for RL, so we take the square root at both sides. So RL now will be equal to the square root of RTH squared plus XTH plus XL squared. We only need the, the positive value for RL because RL is always positive. So we disregard the negative one, the other root. So this will be the value for RL for maximum for maximum uh, power. For the other one, if we vary XL. So let's solve for the other uh, condition. The partial derivative of P with respect to XL. Now, so this is our PL. So if we determine the partial derivative of this with respect to XL, we don't have XL here. So, we can just take the derivative. It's just like taking the derivative of uh, 1 over x squared. 1 over x squared, the derivative of this is just negative uh, 2 over x to the 3. Because we bring down that exponent, it's negative. So, in this case here, this will be also negative. So, we have, or you can apply quotient rule if you want still. And the other term here will become 0 because uh, Vth times RL is a constant. So this will be negative, the derivative of uh, this one. So this will be 0. This will be 2 times XTH times that one, RL. So this will be the Vth squared times RL times the derivative. That is 2 times XTH plus XL derivative of the denominator and you divide it with the square of this one just like this so this will be and this whole thing square but again i don't care about that because this will all also become zero because i will equate this to zero and this will cancel out so it doesn't matter so we have uh this is this will also cancel out these two and also two so the remaining will be negative, we have negative uh, XTH plus XL equals 0. Or we can also remove that negative. XTH plus XL equals 0. So this means we are solving for XL because it's with respect to XL. XL now will be just equal to the negative of XTH. So unlike the, uh, in DC circuit, it should be negative. This should be negative and our RL should be equal to this term. So we combine them to solve for our ZL now. The value for ZL. By combining the two partial derivatives. So this will be equal to RL plus JXL. So remember... This is RL plus JXL. Our RL is this is square root here. You can just copy this one. Then paste it here. 
then plus j our xl so this should be minus because it's minus x to h so this should be minus j x t h But again, xl is equal to negative x stage. So this term here, this x stage plus xl, because uh, it's equal to negative. If you add them, this will become zero. So we only left with r t h squared, and you take the square root, and this will become just the square or just r t h, then minus j x t h. This is z l. And remember z t h here. We said that ZTH is equal to RTH plus JXTH, but we came up with an answer minus JXTH. This means that this is just the conjugate of ZTH. So ZL now is just equal to the conjugate of ZTH. So this is the condition for maximum power transfer. The load, the impedance of the load should be equal to the conjugate of the equivalent impedance of the source. So it's not equal per se, but it should be the conjugate. So it should be minus here. So if you look at the magnitude, the magnitude can be equal because hey, for the magnitude, it's always positive. But if you include the reactance, it should be the conjugate value of the, uh, the, the uh, equivalent impedance of the source. And uh, lastly, for the actual value of the power, the maximum power, if we sub solve now for the actual maximum power, this will be, we can substitute the value for ZL now that we solve. Uh, so this is our PL. So if this is maximum, let's just copy this. So if this is maximum, our RL should be equal to RTH. RL is equal to RTH. Because this will become zero here. This term here is zero. So yeah, uh, just write this one. R L should be equal to R T H. Then X L is just equal to negative X T H. So if, uh, if you substitute that here in this equation, this will become so V T H squared times R L. Our R L is just R T H all over R T H plus R L. That is just equal to uh, two two RTH, so two RTH RTH plus RTH. Then we square that. And this term XTH minus XTH it will become zero. So we will be having uh, the one RTH here will cancel out. So the maximum power now will be equal to uh, VTH squared all over uh, 2 squared, that's 4, times RTH. So this is the maximum power. Our VTH here is uh, the RMS volume. But if the given is the maximum volume for VTH, so if the maximum volume is given, so your P max will change. So this will be P max will be equal to uh, VTH. This is RMS divided by square root of 2. And you square that, so divided by 2. And you put uh, 4 uh, here at the denominator. So 2 times 4 will become 8. So this will be VTH if this is the maximum value squared all over 8 R T H. So here, this is RMS volume. RMS. This one is the maximum or peak value for VTH. So uh, you can use either of the two. So if it's RMS, then it's divided by 4 R T H. If it's uh, max, then you, you divide it with 8 times the resistance of the uh, circuit or the source. So this is maximum average uh, power transfer theorem. For the example, it will be given for a separate uh, discussion.